Hey guys, it's Sensei Mew two one two three four five back for another episode of Crash Bandicoot two. In the last episode, we stumbled and bumbled our way through the end of the second warp room, hoping this recording goes at least slightly better. I mean, it's funny when I fail, even for me, but at the same time. You know, let's try. Let's try not to make this you know, so enormously painful every single time I got go record. Anyway, we're gonna be able to get the yellow gem in this level, where we have the final of the front front rip off levels. Okay, the piranhas for some reason are a whole lot slower on this level when it comes to it. We're going to get the timer again, that's for the yellow gem, but once again we're going to do that the second time we come through because once we go to the bonus area, you know, it's going to disappear. So we can't get the yellow gem and the box gem at the same time because going to the bon getting the box gem requires going to the bonus area. Alright, over to the hippo. Oh man, I was watching other people play games earlier, their YouTube Let's Plays. And I was watching someone who is who will remain nameless, I'm sure you people, by the time this ep episode is uploaded, if you're really into the Let's Plays, will know exactly who I'm talking about. But, you know, he's all saying, you know, I'll just play the game how, how I want, and how I want to play the game is not use exploits or anything like that, and I, watching this person, I just came to realize that I am the exact opposite, aren't I? I like to use every single exploit and glitch in the game I possibly can, and I don't know how you guys respond to that really, but it's just how I play and I'm going to continue playing that way. At any rate, we got more surfboard madness. And this time we got piranha plants going after us. We got third Aku Aku. Once again, no immortality on these sequences. Ah, I'm running into nitros already. Come on! Let's not die. Not dying is good. Not dying means good things. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's see. Oh boy, I'm like contemplating whether or not I want to try this, because I, I know how you can jump over there, you can spin jump onto that platform over there, then spin jump from there over to a platform where another piranha plant is. Oh, I guess I really don't want to do that because it's a little risky, and it's probably just easier to not do that even though it sounds like it might make it easier for a second. Actually no, there's like no way you could get over to where that piranha plant is. Why do I rem how could I remember doing that? Maybe I'm just like imagining things. Anyway, level's done. Get the gem go. Actually, we have to return here for the yellow gem, so we can't quite go. We are making so much better time than the last two episodes. Three minutes of the recording instead of ten minutes in the recording. We I actually get more done this episode. All right. Crash is going to do his victory dance once more. Actually, I'm going to stop him from doing his victory dance with Triangle just to speed things up. At any rate, we're going back into the level to get the yellow gem. Here we go, again. Back to more Piranha Plant ripoff land. You know, this game has so many oh similarities to Mario. Oh Piranha, I hate you because you made me lose my focus, which caused Crash to drown because Crash does not know how to swim and I shouldn't have tried to do that. Graphical We're not gonna have a repeat of last episode, are we, where every graphical error in the game occurs? I mean, not like that one's going to affect anything, because I was already dead. But still, the beta testers for this game did not do a very good job. 
you know, it's still a fun game. I love this game, but beta testers didn't do very well. Now we finally get the timer. Skip over everything time and die to mines. Always gotta have dying to mines when Sensei starts rushing. Where's the time? Oh my god, dang it. Uh, cutting time. How fun it is to screw up. Screwing up is so fun. Screwing up is kind of fun, actually. At least when you screw up unintentionally, it's fun on camera. When you're screwing up off camera, it's not fun. When you screw up on camera, it's fun. Whoa! I really shouldn't have tried to do that, but I made that jump, so I'm good. Alright. Now let's go. We have more time on the clock. Oh well. Ah! I hate these mines. I always have trouble avoiding them. And I have to start over again. Because apparently when you die, the timer goes away. Which makes me sad. It means I have to do this in one life. And after what's been going on, we know that's not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, I forget what I said about us not being over 10 minutes in the recording by the time we finish this episode. I'm going to eat those words. I'm going to eat those words right now because I said... The reason why this is occurring is because I said that. Whoa! Whoa! That was... That was very stupid. Okay, focus, Sensei. Focus, Sensei. You're not focusing. That's the reason why you screwed up so much in the last episode, is because you couldn't get your focus. Now, try to focus some more on this one, and you won't screw up so awful dang much. Of course, the thing is, my game disc, because my game disc, the sound kind of lags on these levels. You might have noticed that when I did Air Crash. Oh man, now we have less time on the clock, we're gonna have to whip out every speedrunning tactic I know, and finally pass that. Okay. What? Uh, I guess that works, they jumped over the whirlpool, and the whirlpool have insta-killed me, so... Oh! We're gonna have to whip out every speedrunning tactic I know in order to pass this, and get those guys, they'll blow up with those TNTs that are blown to bloody bits, if plants bleed. They do. I didn't know. Okay, luckily we have Aku again so we can survive getting a hit. We did not have him for long, did we? And I'm not going to beat the timer. Ugh, we're going to try. No, I'm going to get eaten. I definitely wouldn't have beaten that timer anyway. Oh, more cutting. I love screwing up. Yes, that was supposed to be irony. What? That wasn't supposed to be irony, per se. That was supposed to be something else. Something else I can't quite think of because my brain is still liquid from the last episode. Alright. Speedrunning tactics away. Hopefully we won't die to this. Okay, good. Okay, we're just going to have to constantly use boost, as bad of an idea that is. It's the only way. Alright. Doing much better time-wise than we did in the last take, before I had to cut. I don't know why we were doing so bad time-wise. Seriously? Okay, let's try not to lose Aku, because we actually are probably going to need him for the next surfboard part after this one. Because it's nearly impossible to get by these two without taking a hit. 
without killing them, like I did the last time I went through there. Alright, we're good. No need to destroy the nitros, just pick up the yellow gem and get out. Okay. Well, I don't know why the timer's still going, but I beat it out of the level. Alright. Moving on to the next level. And that is the last of the Chrono Plant ripoff levels, and we are now 10 minutes over the recording. I love eating my words. Sewer or later? Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, Naughty Dog and your crappy puns. This is another sewer level, obviously. Only this time the water is deeper and it acts like the mud in the first level. The very first level of the entire game. Not the tutorial level, though. That doesn't really count as a level in my eyes. Alright. Kerbam, it doesn't have its own warp room portal, therefore it's not a level. It's just a little area thing. Here we are, back with the eels are electricing the water. And here's the yellow gem challenge area. I love how they give you the yellow gem platform right after you get the yellow gem. Alright, here we go. Oh! I don't know if there are any boxes in here. Oh man! The water here is always electric. The water here is always electric. Stress land. Oh, you can't stay on the platforms. Oh! I almost hit the mouse. Oh, it's actually giving me a Grace Aku. I love that. It's finally said, okay, you've died enough. We're going to give you some more mercy now. Just like in the last episode with the rock, we're going to start... That lasted a long time. Okay, now that my timing's a bit better. Let's go through here. We got the gem already. Actually, I think if we kill ourselves like so, we can still get the box gem because there are obviously no boxes down here. Oh, I see. It's not giving us a gray Saku. We're just spawning right on an Aku Aku crate. Because there was an Aku Aku crate on top of the checkpoint crate, and we must have broken the checkpoint crate first. Well, that totally works for me. We aren't having the space paradox anymore. Alright, Cortex is sir. Da! Why are you using your flamethrower the moment I walk over to you? Alright, die mice. You deserve death. And so death shall come to you swiftly. Here we go into another bonus area. This is kind of a crazy bonus area that we got here. I'm going to see why. At least if this is the bonus area I'm thinking of. Alright. Bang, 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 bang. Now we got an exclamation mark box to make those appear. Except, heck, you can just spin. Spin jump up there, maybe. Be kind of hard. Hat. Mind game, I'll do it the way you intended. Even though, as explained earlier in the episode, that's not how I roll. I know this is not the this is not the bonus area I was thinking of. I was thinking this was a bonus area where they were gonna do a really cruel line box puzzle thing. But it wasn't. Which is fine by me. Now that's that fan is spinning too fast to pass, and what you do is you spin the enemies into it, and that destroys the blades, until finally you spin an enemy into the middle, which you should have done from the very beginning, and it destroys the fan entirely. Okay. You're getting hit by stupid things again this episode, Sensei. You need to stop that. You're supposed to be good at this game, and you're sucking. It's like episode 4 was the last episode we would do good in. And of course, there, there's the end of the Yellow Gem Challenge area. Although there are no boxes in there, there was just the Clear Gem. 
So by no means do you actually have to stay in there. You just kill yourself after you get the gem. As discovered in the last episode, you keep any gems you collect when you die. So you, there's no need to go back down there. Ah! Went the wrong way. Went the wrong way first, that is. You know, we're supposed to go the other way first. Activate an exclamation mark box that uh, activates those boxes there. Well, I didn't do that. Of course, I put both the exclamation mark box types together. How cute! They're such a cute couple, don't you think? Anyway, now we get an extra life. God knows I need him now. Whoa! Glad we made that jump. So I actually want to, you know, maybe keep my Aku for longer than a minute of the video. Speaking of which, how far are we in the video? We're like 16 and a half minutes. Alrighty. Well, electric the water eel so that I can... Oh! Stupid henchman of Cortex. Thought you were going to allow me to get the crystals for you? Um, who knows, maybe it's Embryo. Either that or this is just a setup and Cortex is just trying to kill me. Alright. There we go, we got everything. And now, the next level is Bear Down, which we definitely have time for. It's another level like Barrett, where we ride Fuller. Only now we get a cutscene. There was a Cortex Vortex in the first place? I didn't actually know there was a Cortex Vortex in the first place. I didn't think that's what they were doing in Crash Bandicoot 1. I thought they were just using the Evolvo Ray to mutate animals into Cortex's minions. That's how Crash came into being, by the way, is Cortex and Embryo used the Evolvo, prototype Evolvo Ray on a Bandicoot. Thus, Crash Bandicoot was born, and Crash Bandicoot didn't exactly want to do what they wanted, so... Anyway, here we are, another one of these levels. It is dusk, and these whales are attacking me. Why are you attacking me, whales? Even more, this is supposed to be... What is this, anyway? It's like supposed to be the Arctic Ocean, you figure, because polar is polar bear, polar bear is Arctic Ocean. Yet you see land, which leads you to believe it's Antarctica. Paradox. Alright, luckily the boxes in this level aren't quite as cruel as they were in the last one. At least we haven't happened any, by any that have been that way yet, so we might actually get through this level halfway, halfway quick. Ugh. Only we've got to dodge all these statues, and there is one cruel place box there that you might have just missed. I, I saw it and that's how I got it, but oh! I hate how they place those boxes on ice. So it's like so annoying to try and turn your way over to them. But luckily I'm totally proing this level right now and we got that on my first take. So happy. Anyway, destroy the nitros and we're gonna get the gem and don't leave the warp room that way. You saw those little icebergs when we were flying over here off of Fuller's back, right? Anyway, you wanna jump on these over to the platform there at this lake. And it's an entrance to the secret warp room that we're gonna take. Anyway, here we are in the secret warp room. And we're gonna drop off our crystal and gem which will appear in the third warp room, no need to fret. And as you can see we get another portal leading to air crash as our first portal in the secret 
warp room. We will never get this portal because that was the one to snow go. Anyway, one interesting thing about the secret warp room is wherever you s is off in the distance, you can see the islands from Crash One. You know, there's the I think that's the second island you go to. Off in the distance, that way is island is N Sandy Island, I think. Either that or Cortex's Fortress. But at any rate, here's one other interesting thing about the secret warp room is this isn't the only warp room that you can actually die in. Yes, you can die in this warp room, but it does not subtract from your life count, luckily. Okay, off to air crash in order to get the box gem. Because now that we've unlocked it in the secret warp room, we start in a different place in Air Crash where there are boxes that we normally would miss. And I would get those lives, but I think those, getting those lives is a little ballsy. I hate trying to box jump over those. Anyway, here we are in the second challenge area of Air Crash. Oh, good, got it. Luckily, ah, Whirlpool, you're making things stressful right now, and I don't like stress. I don't do well under stress. Now we're going to be carried back to the regular area of air crash. We're going to be dropped off here, but don't fret, because there's no boxes before this part. Now we're going to actually complete the level. The last time we were here, we went through the exit in the other challenge area. This time we're going to complete the level and go to the end of the level. The real one. So that we may pick up our shiny clear gem of boxes. Alright, off we go. Boosting! Even though we all know how well I do in terms of running into mines when I start boosting a lot. Okay. Let's just get all this again. We've seen this all before. Although we still have these. For some reason, I really don't do very well on those sets of two mines. I mean, you did there. Can't you just spin jump this? Yep, you can. Okay, good. At any rate, we go over here. Bonus area. We've done this bonus area before, but oh well. I mean, a loss for commentary since we've done all this before, but. Long arc. Oh man, I actually got everything. That never happens. I got everything. Hmm. Well, that works. That works for me. More Wump of Fruit and more lives. God knows I need those. Unintentional rhyme, jeez. Okay, hurry up platforms. I wanna I wanna get out of here. I can't spin jump that. Alright. Piranha plant rip off what you gonna do. I'm too far away from you. Can't move your old butt over here. Even if you did, I'd just blow you up. Shoot! Wanted to get the life first. I lost to Aku, or I lost the gold Aku. Now here's a little trick. I hate this. It took me so long to figure out what you need to do. Is now they're actually forcing you to spin jump. You have to use the spin jump to make this jump. And the next one. And this next one, there are actually boxes over here. And it's really stupid how they did that. You can miss that so easily. Now I have to backtrack through that, and they were... They decided to be even more cruel, and a little bit of water on the other side of that can kill you, so the camera angle is pretty awkward. Anyway, now that we've gone through that, and gone out of stress land, continue on through the rest of the level that we haven't been to before. But yes, you can actually screw the box gem up and have to go back and do that uh, all over again because they really wanted to be jerks in this level. I hate this level. This is my least favorite one of these levels for a reason. You screw up one thing trying to get the box gem in this level and there's so much you have to do over again. Thank God I don't have to. Anyway, now we've finally completed Warp Room 2 and got over halfway in Warp Room 3 on this one episode. 
I think we're going to return to Warp Room 3 and call it an episode. So, see you guys in the next video. This is Sensei Mewtwo12345 ending this gaming lesson. And this recording went so much better. Thank God Almighty.